Hi guys, this is Miss Drummond, and I am going to show you how to do an atomic mass calculation when you are given all the information, but you don't know the mass of one of the isotopes. This problem is from Learning Target 4 and 5 Practice and Review Worksheet number 2. It's the last problem, and it's solved um, very much like the last problem on the review sheet that you have for your Learning Target 1 through 4 test. So the problem says that indium has two naturally occurring isotopes and an atomic mass of 114.818 atomic mass units. Indium-113 has a mass of 112.904 atomic mass units and an abundance of 4.3. So I have some information here that's helpful already. Um, I have the atomic mass, which is 114.818, so that's going to be the answer to my problem. And then I know that one of the isotopes here has an abundance of 4.3, and they want me to find the percent abundance of the other isotope and the identity, so that means the mass. So I'm going to go ahead and write down all the things that I know and plug them into the problem the way that I like to solve it. I tend to like to solve these problems using a table. I know that I need to have percent abundance for all the isotopes, and I'm going to have to multiply that times the mass that they give me. And I should use the more precise mass if they give me that. And then I know when I do that, I have two isotopes here. And um, when I do that, I'm going to get my answers over here. And I'm going to need to add them together. And my final answer will be 114.818 AMU. So I'm just going to go back up to the problem and say, okay, I have this one with a mass of 112.904, and I need to multiply that times the percent abundance, which is 4.3. So if I move the decimal over two places, it becomes 0 0.043. Oops. So then the other isotope, um, I don't have any information about it, except that I do know that it's the only other isotope. So out of the 100% of all indium atoms, if 4.3% is made of this indium-113, then 100 minus 4.3, which would be 95.7%, so 0.9 so the other isotope makes up the rest of the percent, and I'm going to multiply that times the mass, and I know that I should go over here and be able to get two answers and add them together to get the average atomic mass. But I don't know this mass. So at this point, I know everything that I need to know in order to solve for the mass. It's the only variable in the equation that I don't know. So I'm going to set this up as an algebra problem and then go ahead and solve for y, which would be the mass of the other isotope. So now I have the problem set up algebraically. I have the percent abundance times the mass of the isotope that I do know, the percent abundance of the other isotope with the mass that I don't know, um, and then when I add the two uh, multiplication problems together, they should give me the average atomic mass for indium. So I'm going to um, combine like terms. So I have these two numbers that I can multiply together. They don't have any variables in them, so I can simplify by multiplying them. So when I multiply, I get 4.85. And then that's going to be plus 0.957 times y. And that's going to be equal to 114.818. So I've simplified the problem even more. Um, so now um, I want to isolate this variable for y so, and solve for it. 
So I want to simplify even more. So I'm going to take this number that's added here and I'm going to subtract it from both sides. So it cancels out over here. 4.85 over here. And I'm going to get 109. And over here, I will have 0.957 times y. So now I'm to the point where I can um, do one last step to isolate the variable. So I'm going to undo this multiplication um, on, and uh, divide both sides by 0.957. And then when I get my answer, 109.968 divided by 0.957, the mass is, I have to check it, 114.909 AMU. This answer makes sense to me because 95.7% of all indium isotopes are made up of 100 and, uh, indium 114.909 and that um, mass is very close to the average. It makes sense because the majority of indium isotopes are 114.909 so the average mass should be close to that number. Only 4% are made up of the isotope indium-113, so the mass is not going to be, the average mass is not going to be close to 113, it's going to be closer to 114.